Reverend Dr. Francis Howard Rose once said, Central's doors are open to those who would teach, those who must preach, those who are rich, those who are poor, those who will work, those who dislike mediocrity, those who pursue success. Let us sing the CPU Centennial Hymn, CPU Forever, the winner of the Centennial Hymn Category Contest, composed and arranged by the late Mrs. Eleanor Ruth Favla with her daughter, Roslyn. God's grace, all CPU forever, you've soared high, reached far and wide, to all the lands and seas. May your name be revered by them who pass your gate. Tis God's anointing blessings that crown you with success. Honored we shall be to bear the gold and blue, to lift the standard, live our faith that all the world may see God's works through you and all along night through faithfully be spreading the truth that sets us free we thank the Lord for you His purpose to fulfill for God's greatest glory, for God's greatest glory, central spirit share to the world we We remember your pain and sufferings. We remember how your saving grace dignified the life that we live. On the occasion of reminiscing the death and sufferings of our martyrs, O oh God, grant us the consciousness that life is worth living for you, for others, and for the world. May your loving presence provide hope and meaning to all of us now. Amen. God speaks to us in many different ways. Today, let us hear Him speak through the coffee shop table talk written by MS Sharon Rose Joy Ruiz Durandes entitled Voices from the Past, where the Reverend William O. Valentine, the Reverend Dr. Francis Howard Rose, the Reverend Dr. Alton E. Bigelow and Dr. Linnea A. Nelson have these important messages to convey to all of us. This will be acted out by some members of the CPO Teatro Sidney Atibapa under the direction of Mrs. Ruela Cheyenne Aberia. Ladies and gentlemen, the voices from the past. Afternoon brought together four personalities to this quaint coffee shop, a favorite converging place of philosophers, theologians, historians, educators who come to reminisce, to test out noble ideas, to push their intellectual horizons, to locate themselves in the life stream of history. Most of the time, the coffee shop would be a beehive of intense engagement, permeated with the aroma freshly brewed coffee. Yet, for some reason, that afternoon, only three men and a woman, people the cozy noon. Reverend William O. Valentine, first principal of the Haro Industrial 
Industrial School. Reverend Dr. Francis Howard Rose, three times principal of the Haro Industrial School and three times acting president of Central Philippine College. Reverend Dr. Alton E. Bigelow, first dean of the Central Philippine College, Department of Theology. Dr. Linnea A. Nelson, first woman, president of Central Philippine University. Ah, I know what brings us together this afternoon. Let me guess, CPU. Ah, yes, CPU. Good old CPU. Last time I heard, many, many good things were coming out of the university. That does me proud. I remember arriving in Iloilo with my newlywed wife in 1903. To our surprise, we came upon a thriving Baptist mission of preaching, teaching, and healing. With churches organized in Iloilo, Capiz, and Bacolod, we believed that it was time to complement the growth of the boys, especially those who had become members of the local congregation. Haro Industrial School was the name we gave to this vocational school. The first in the country to teach that labor is honor. That slogan was a great leveler, wasn't it? Didn't you say that in Haro Industrial School, no boy, no matter how rich, should be admitted who wasn't willing to work for his food? Yes, but the original purpose of the school was to provide opportunity for work. Filipino boys to receive a good Christian industrial education by working their way to school. Ah, I remember when we came to join the mission in Iloilo. Actual work experience and earnest study of the Bible were the core curriculum of the school. I entered the portal of CPU in 1959 coming from a small school and a large family. It would have been a financial disaster for our family if I was not accepted as a work student. I worked at the physics laboratory for a year and at the electronics laboratory for three years. I attributed what I am today because of my experience as a work student and because of the Christian education and influence of the American Baptist missionaries. That makes you nostalgic. What does? That song. Central, my central. Never a student of CPU leaves the portals of Central without hearing that song in their hearts. I felt that essential songs could unify the students and the teachers. Songs that would lift up the, the... Central Spirit. That's it. The Central Spirit, which would later be the animating force of all Centralians as they live out their lives. And be reminded that Central's doors are open to those who dislike mediocrity and those who pursue success. Coming generations, gleaming dawn of day, filled with lofty venerations, all we think and say. Central Spirit lead us onward, loyal make each sun, till we find our efforts honored with the master's words well done we've a wealth of today memories that makes for manhood in man and the rich and broad horizon 
central student stand. Here's a leadership fraternal for Eastern nations to see. For a renaissance supernal sweeps our rise from sea to sea. We'll sing the song this time. We would like to invite you to join us, those who can memorize the song. Hope of coming generations, gleaming dawn of day, filled with lofty venerations, central spirit lead us onward, Loyal make it sound Till we find a ref for honor With the Master's words well done With a wealth of school day memories That makes for manhood in man And the rich and broad horizon Central student stand. Here's a leadership fraternal for Eastern nations to see. For a Renaissance supernal sweeps our eyes from sea to sea. My family and I returned to Iloilo after a two-year sabbatical leave in the U.S. What more could I ask? The campus was throbbing with life. Students were coming in droves, for the school had begun to admit female students. A high school was opened, and the school received government recognition. Indeed, God's plan for the Haro Industrial School was unfolding. And the Anaho trees along the road from the Lopez Hall to the Western Hall. Yes, of course. I believe that stately trees pushing heavenwards would be good company to those who enter the campus. That the students may grow taller as they walk with the trees. That they, like the trees, would bear fruits and succeed in everything they do, as Psalm chapter 1 claims. And that Fifteen years ago, I entered the gates of CPU as an innocent elementary student. And just five months ago, I graduated with a college degree and an award that immortalizes Alton Bigelow's vision. And so here I am, privileged to give a speech regarding the question, what does it mean to be an Alton Bigelow Award? The first is Fides, to keep the faith. Modern people think that grades and hard work will give success. In a sense, yes, that is true. But Alton Bigelow saw something deeper than that. He believes that this vision, his award, proves that Christian faith plays a very important role that neither academic, exemplary performance, or exemplary leadership alone can fulfill. As long as our perspective is to please God and not people, then the central spirit will continue to move forward and upward. Second, Alton Bigelow taught us the value of excellence. 
The modern world is stuck in convenience and mediocrity. But as Centralians, our vision and mission is to excel. Excel by the acronym, and yes, to excel literally. To settle for nothing less will get us nowhere. And so we are challenged to go the extra mile and be the best that we can be. Finally, in order to live out that vision, we need action. Faith and excellence are abstract nouns. But this time, action takes a concrete form. So what does action mean to us? It means that we have to take conscious effort to live out the central spirit. A word of prayer, a committed yes, a small sacrifice. These are small things that embody the values taught to us by the school. For me, these three, faith, excellence, and action, sum up what it means to be a recipient of Alton Bigelow's vision. But I'm sure these three are also what it means to leave out Alton Bigelow's vision as one central. A quote I once heard says, do not let your dreams be dreams. Alton Bigelow had a dream and he had made that dream a reality. We Centralians, we are the realization of that dream. And therefore, we cannot allow that dream to remain as a dream. We need to embody the faith we need to strive for excellence, and we need to take conscious action to make that dream a dream worth living. All this reminiscing will get us nowhere if we do not acknowledge that Dr. Linnea Nelson was the first woman president of CPU. Having led the graduate school, her presence in the highest administrative position of the university heralded the readiness of women to partner their male counterparts in leading an educational institution. Taking inspiration from Mary Thomas, the first woman principal of the Haru Industrial School, Linnea here, imbued her presidency with gentle and inclusive scholarship. A person's most useful asset is not a head full of knowledge, but a heart full of love. An ear read, read, ready to listen and a hand willing to help others. This quote from the Unbounded Spirit capsulizes woman's contribution to the leadership of CP. I believe it's God who puts people in position of leadership. When I was given the opportunity to be the Vice President for Finance and Enterprises, I prayed hard, listened, and seek for God's call. I know such position is not an easy one. After hearing God's call, I asked for His wisdom. And I was guided by Philippians 4.19, which says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Indeed, He granted me the ear to listen to the woes and cries of employees. May it be financial or family issues. The heart to love and understand them, and the hand to help them in my own simple ways and the stamina to look into all the requests and papers every day. <laughs> By such empowerment of God's word, I am surviving. During my PhD days, one of the requirements we had was to formulate a leadership model for the institution we are connected. Basing on CPU's history, culture, vision, and mission, I anchored the model of the trait theory and the servant leadership theory. The trade theory advanced that leaders were indeed different in that they possess a set of leadership traits such as intelligence, self-confidence, determination, integrity, and sociability. Servant leadership theory emphasizes the leader's duty to serve his or her followers. Leadership thus arises out of the desire to serve rather than the desire to lead. It is a practical philosophy which supports people who choose to serve first and then lead as a way of expanding service to individuals and institutions. I thought this model would just be an academic in nature, but I have been challenged to put it into action. And this has been my guiding principle since I had, I had been part of the university's leadership. As the Word of God says in Matthew 23, 11, if you want to be great, be the servant of all. And all of us have our own part to play 
in fulfilling God's call for Central Philippine University. May He find us faithful as we do our task. The conversation brings to the fore the dreams of Central's forebears. It lifts up what they would have wanted CPU to become. Have we been faithful to those aspirations? far removed from the Central Philippine University of today. What would their prayers be? As we, in the early 1900s, risked all to build what now is Central Philippine University, may you continue to take great leaps of faith for God's greatest glory. endeavor to articulate essential spirit. May you embrace it and share it, that people may be touched by it. As we believe then the learning pursuits encompass both mind and heart, may you continue to work for exemplary Christian education for life. As the women took strides in helping to carry CPU's vision and mission forward, may you always believe that God has never given us the spirit of timidity and fear, but of power and of courage. Let us continue to affirm our commitment to CPU as we remember our mission and vision through the Central Decalogue. Let's begin with the men. I believe in Central Philippine University because she believes in the future of the Philippine youth. I believe in her emphasis on I believe in her emphasis on scholarship and character. I believe in her teaching the human personality is I believe in her educating the poor in order to lift them up and free them from the shackles of social and religious prejudice, ignorance, and superstition. I believe in their classroom instruction, which insists that the students must be free to explore honestly any area of knowledge and push back the horizons of their intellect and educate the emotions of the heart. I believe in the necessity of research in the atmosphere of freedom because a university is not truly a university unless it carries on research. I believe that the university with a Christian base and Christian should be more progressive, more aware of the and of its science and all things to the end that the What we are now is because of the faithfulness of those who have gone before us. Today, we honor them as we lay down the flowers for our hearers and hear witness of faith.
home of our heritage, guardian of dreams we keep. March on our dear central, through generations victorious, proudly we treasure best. O oh, central, our pride of place, we are centralians, one hope, one vision to reach. We have one dream, one future, one spirit to keep. Lead on, central spirit, lead us to future glorious. Together we will excel for God's greatest glory. We are the nations that will carry your dreams. O oh, central, make us brave and true. Faithful to God and faithful to Thee. We are Centralians, one hope, one vision to reach. We have one dream, one future, one spirit to keep. Hail on Central Spirit, onward to future glorious. For you together we will excel. That's greatest glory. We are the generations that will carry your dreams. O oh, Central, make us brave and true, faithful to God and faithful to Thee. Our dear Central, proud as we are to keep. Our dear Central, we honor and celebrate. Our dear Central, our precious heritage. the Father be with us as we continue the heritage of spreading the love of Jesus Christ through the teaching mission of CPU. May the peace of Jesus Christ be with us as we continue to fulfill the vision of CPU through exemplary Christian education for life. May the guidance of the Holy Spirit be with us as we continue the legacy of faith in action of our four parents. We entrust everything to you, O God, this is our prayer, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we express our sincere thanks to all who, in one way or another, have offered their valuable services and support to make this special occasion a meaningful one. To the members of the Memorial Service Program, uh, to committee members, our script writer, Vision from the Past, um, this is... Sharon Rose Joy Ruiz Dorantes, the City of Chatro, Sining Atibapa, and their Mrs. Ruela J. M. Tiberia, uh, the one who prepared the program, Reverend Alan Duon, our song leader, the Three Harmonies, the City of Visual Arts Club, who, who painted this background, this spectrum, and our, uh, those who gave the three minute testimony, our President, Dr. Progles, Mr. Ron Gionaldo, and Dr. Bugasha. To God be the glory.